everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to do my Spookathon TBR. Um, I've been looking forward to this and I've been thinking about what books I'm going to read. This could change, but I think I've narrowed it down. I've got five books, there are five challenges. So, some of these books would actually fit in for more than one of the challenges, so. But I thought I would try and pick a different book for each one. So, we'll just go through each challenge and what book I am going to read for that particular challenge. So the first one is read a thriller, th thriller, read a thriller, and I've picked *The Bone Thief* by Jefferson Bass. This could also be used for red on the cover. The woman at the autopsy table had been dead for only two days and had been in the cooler the whole time. But if I had been guessing from the condition of her neck, I'd have guessed that her corpse had been ripening at the body farm for a week or more. Forensic anthropologist Bill Brockton is exhuming a body to obtain a bone sample. A simple enough job until he discovers that the body's limbs have all been removed. Brockton soon finds himself working undercover for the FBI, infiltrating the brutal world of black market body parts. Faced with the toughest case of his career, Brockton is also in grave danger. If one of his shady new associates should discover they've been double-crossed, they're unusually well, displaced, well placed to dispose of the body. So yes, that sounds quite gruesome that's my reader thriller so the next one is read a book with red on the cover so to keep in the fact that it's spooky I have picked a Stephen King book which is Bazaar of Bad Dreams there is red in that and his name is also red on the spine and on the front so that is my red on the cover book I'm looking forward to this this is a collection of short stories most of which have been published before but not all of them um, a man who keeps living exactly the same life, repeating his mistakes over and over again. A columnist who kills people by writing their obituaries. And a poignant tale about the end of the human race. And a firework competition between neighbours which reaches an explosive climax. So that's my book with red on the cover. You've got to have a bit of Stephen King if it's spooky stuff. So I'm reading that. The third challenge is read a book with a spooky word in the title. This is open to interpretation. So, because there are lots of words that can be classed as spooky, such as curse, even, you know, blood, buried. So, I've gone with uh, Becky Massman's Fear the Darkness, because the whole title just sounds really spooky. Um, this was in one of my uh, last month's wrap-up. Uh, so, Bridget Quinn has been shot at, stabbed in the spleen with a nail fire and uses serial killer bait. But she's also always been able to trust her instincts and her FBI training to help her out of danger. Now retired from the Bureau and investigating the tragic death of her neighbour's teenage son, Bridget starts to suffer unexplained bouts of paranoia, hallucination and memory loss. And for the first time in her life, she feels vulnerable. But with a mass poison at the church, a dead man in town and a grieving family convinced their son's death wasn't an accident, Bridget needs to put the pieces together fast because evil has entered her life once more and it's much closer than she thinks i think that sounds quite chilling it's definitely a thriller and it's even got a bit of red on the back but not much so that's my spooky word in the title i think the whole title sounds quite spooky fear the darkness because who doesn't at points in their lives the fourth child challenge i can't speak the fourth challenge is to read a book that came out in 2016. This is the hardest one for me because for all the time I'm out, I love thrillers. I haven't actually bought many brand new ones. Um, I've been buying things like the Harry Potters, Tales of the Peculiar, The Muse, lots of YA. So yeah, I mean, that one was hard, but I did have one book uh, that I picked up quite cheaply a while back and that's The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware. It did come out this year and it is a thriller, so it definitely fits in with Spookathon. I know some people aren't that keen on it, but that one will fulfill the new in 2016 book. And I'm sure to let you know what I think about it at some point during my Spookathon updates and wrap ups. And the fifth and final challenge is to read a book that has a paranormal character in it. So this could be anything, I suppose, like demons, witches, vampires, ghosts, werewolves. I've gone with the Salem Witch Society, which is about witches, paranormal characters. Um, and yes, it's a dark fairy tale set in the modern day. 
I think this is a bit pushing it because I don't know if there's actually any witches in it. It's more of a thriller witch witchcraft. I think there's going to be witchcraft in it. I think there's going to be witches in it. So if not, I've certainly got plenty of books. I nearly picked Terry Pratchett's book, The Witch's Vacuum Cleaner, but I thought that's not even a thriller. That's a children's book. So I thought that would be really cheating. This is pushing the pushing the thing a bit. But so those are currently my five books for Spookathon. It might change it. It depends on if I pick up anything that's got any think weirder in it. So if I've got a character that's more paranormal than the title character, which um, it might happen. I can't think of anything. I might be throwing on my Kindle. I've got one with ghosts in the title, but it's like 500, 600 pages long. It's gonna take forever to get through. And there is a ghost in it. Um, so yeah, are you looking forward to Spookathon? Spookathon runs from the 17th to the 23rd of October. I'm looking forward to seeing how everybody gets on. I'm really looking forward to, to this. Um, I've got my five books ready. I'm going to get plenty of munchies, popcorn, crisps, tea, biscuits. And I'm going to curl up every single night because I'm on earlies that week. So I know I can get this done. So good luck to everybody taking part in Spookathon. I hope you enjoy it and I will see you soon. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave a comment below if you've read any of these books. Or if you want to know anything more about them once I've read them. And don't forget to share and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. I'll see you soon. Bye!